Well, boys and girls, just have a look what else have I built. <laughs> so this is my H6 copter or H6 hexacopter. Don't know what you call it. I would be politically correct. So um, never tried any of these frames. So I was very anxious to try the frame and to make sure it's not just a flying, flying around machine for no purpose. I decided to try and build myself a slop style gimbal. So I build I build a hex with the original gimbal. So mechanics of it, it's pretty simple. Even though even though the Chinese cannot get the like proper proper copies as the original is. So I take I take no credits absolutely for this design. That's the Alexei Zaitsevsky that invented all the Eslop gimbal. So after that all the standard Chinese copies like Glider 600 and, and the whole lot. So we will see how that will work. So I have my KK2 board on. Uh, 1.5 firm uh, cam stab works very well. I'm just not sure how is it going to work with the gyros there. So as you can see the batteries will be at the bottom and the camera will be on the very top sticking out on a half a meter pole roughly. So there's a few reasons there's a few reasons for that. The reason is that I had these batteries. These are the 3M 3M 4 cell batteries. One battery is not enough for the six motor configuration and two batteries is 700 grams. So if I'll do the traditional way invert it so 700 grams on top and be half a meter pole I will have to have an awful long of a landing gear which is extra weight which I don't like a lot so uh, the distance uh, the width uh, the width is 42 centimeters motor to motor shaft uh, the length is 60 62 I think the 11 inch props just fits rightly with approximately an inch of a gap between them uh, motors are DT 700s uh, I replaced the shafts on them so I can put on the normal I can put a normal prop adapter uh, ESCs are Hobby King Blue Series uh, 30 amp ESCs so I was building my frame up and up and stepping up and stepping up to make sure I have the prop level the same level as the as the pivot point because the prop level is the level on your on your all axis so what i what i believe what i what i believe it will be less distortion in the in the video well but it's only my theory so so here's a little bit a little bit about my gimbal i build up the box with a double pcb inside there's a from my 500 size uh, smash heli parts from the not the swash plate what you call the fly bars all the parts simply simply because they have uh, they have all the bearings in there it's all pretty much pretty much in clear servo 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 on top controls the roll at the bottom at the bottom servo is for the is for the pitch so I have my I have my place for gyros here, which is gonna be another great so-called fun trying to set them up with the KK2 board. Because I I'm not sure how does that gonna work. Uh, because on the cam stab on the KK2 board, uh, the cam stab activates only when the motors starts to spin when the throttle goes from idle which which uh, nas is a totally different then you can you can check you can do your settings you, you can do your settings while the motors are not spinning so uh frame looks solid enough that's a battery here it's um only a dead weight 200 grams the battery that would that will represent my pole and my gopro on i don't have any dslrs or next five cameras or anything and i'm not planning to buy anytime shortly so so 700 grams at the bottom it will be it will be way up sky high for only 100 grams for a gopro to count to counteract the balance there so all of flying weight now including that dead weight is 
2.45 kilos that's so i'd say all a flying weight will be around two and a half kilos with the gopro on so if i want to stick on fpv of course it will add on the 2.5 kilos it should be good to run on four cell uh, i've tested these motors on the on the other copters as well uh, with two and a half kilos, a hexacopter with three cell setup and 12 in prop, uh, 12 in props uh, were flying good. So, so what goes to weight, what goes to weight ratio, it should be good. So just stuck on with the with the tape quickly, just for testing. You make sure in case I ain't gonna like it, I'm just gonna put that gimbal elsewhere, build another copter for the gimbal. Uh, forgot to mention, it sits on a sits on the rubber dampers as well as the supports the kiki 2 board as well so we're good to go for maiden let's go and see how she goes well there she goes it's flying <laughs> There's something twitching. I'm not sure about the receiver on this one. It's a Orange RX copy for the Futaba. What goes to power ratio looks very good so far. Hovers at 50% throttle, exactly 50%. So I have my timer on. So we'll see. We'll see how long it will hover. Gimbal is not. Servers are not plugged in. Gimbal is not activated springs are on so I might be swinging left and right could do something twitching I don't like about the radio uh, we'll see very responsive uh, when I yaw it starts to tilt one side I'll try to yaw right now aha uh -huh. That's probably because of the age configuration. Now I will try to your right. One, two, three. It doesn't your flat. I don't like that much. As you can see, it's tilting, tilting to sides while yawing. <laughs> 